Uh, today was pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like guys got to be more mentally tough out there. Uh, offense had a great day today. You know, defense-wise, we got to really come along a little bit. Uh, we had some good things going on out there, but overall, man, we got to really step it up more. Weird, Chevin had a pretty spectacular pick. What did you get a good look at? Or? I did. Uh, I was on his side. Um, you know, he did a great job playing the the, the wide receiver. And, you know, when the ball was in the air, you know, I feel like his mentality was it was his ball. It was a one-handed catch, got his foot down, and um, you know, the ball uh, going the other way, man. So it was really a great play by Chevin right there. I hear that's not the first pick that he's made in, in fall camp. What do you, what do you like? You just you're saying from him. Overall, man, his ball skills are way better, man. His eyes, you know, that's really the one thing. You know, he got all the athletic tools. You know, obviously he was All-American and everything. It was just his eyes had to get right in. He really did a great job um, this fall camp of really focusing on it, you know. And um, as a result, he's in the right spot all the time, and he just got to make the play. From a defensive perspective, what what do you think of Cole and Ty today for the, the, the older quarterbacks? What you think? How, what kind of day do you think they had? I feel like they handled the offense well. Uh, they they really managed the, uh, the game well out there today. You know, we had a lot of situations out there that Coach Morris put us in. And I feel like those guys really handled those situations very well, you know, managing the ball. Where do you think you guys are defensively with, with the install and what Coach Chavis wants you guys to do? Uh, I feel like that this install, this fall camp has really been, uh, we pretty much got pretty much our whole defense in. Uh, we didn't really show everything today. Um, I did it on purpose and everything, but you know, what we do run, what, what we are running, I feel like guys playing fast in, in our defense and um, you know, we really responded well to what you know, Chief brings bring to the table for us. Did they let you guys do some blitzing today? We did send some pressure, you know, uh, but we didn't send all the pressure at them. But, you know, I feel like that the offense did a great job picking it up today. Like I said, they put, they had a really good day today. There's some receivers standing out. I know you guys got to cover them, had to cover them today in the, the scrimmage. Just any receivers stand out to you? Um, to Tobias Inslow, I feel like that he did. Um, you know, he had a couple drag routes today and he broke a couple tackles, you know, and uh, got some yards after the catch. Um, so he really stood out to me today as far as uh, production on the field. And Chad Morris said the young quarterbacks were live. Like I guess, mm -hmm. but, but Coach Chavis said you don't want to unload on your own quarterback too much. What did what, what, you think it was? I mean, was it kind of fun to get to cut loose a little bit against the quarterback? Yeah, the camp? Um, it, it was fun. Uh, I had a, I had an opportunity to cut loose on uh, John Stephen Jones on one of them, and I wrapped him up and. I forgot that he was live, and I ended up letting him go. And uh, I was like, you, "You got lucky right there, man." But uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was great. I, I had we had got a, we got a great opportunity to see those guys play out there. Him and um, uh, Dalton and yeah, and Dalton, Dalton, Dalton Hyde Connor. and Connor. You know those guys uh, were out there. They, they really got some. They can make they can make plays with their feet, and they were showing it today. Uh, really getting out there, getting out there, that pressure, you know, and, and making things happen. So it was good get, get get a chance to see those guys really play football out there today. So you wrapped up Jones and let him go, and he, he took off running. Yeah, he still he kept going. I, I was I thought Coach Moore was going to blow the whistle. I was like, come on, you know, I had this guy. I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to hurt the quarterback like that, man. But you know, he 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 really showed me some things today. You know, uh, he 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 has a great arm on him. You know, he had, like I said, I didn't expect him to run the ball that well, but he did today. What was it like being in the stadium? I know it's not like a big crowd, but what was it like being in there with the North End Zone? I guess almost being man, it, it's 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 tremendous knowing that we're gonna have you know those seats filled up as well, you know, this season, and um, it's just beautiful seeing the stadium come together, you know, and get an opportunity to go back in there. Um, I haven't been there since the last game of last season, so going back in there, you know, it, it really felt good, you know, playing on the turf again and seeing all the new things that's happening around Arkansas. Fair, fair hey, Arkansas. How, how do you think you and Cam are doing as the starting safeties back there? What kind of progress have you guys made even since the spring? I feel like that uh, our chemistry is, is very well together. Uh, you know, we both uh, do a great <laughs> job of coming down, playing a run. You know, we both can play in coverage well. Um, you know, I did. I feel like Cam had a great day today. You know, he was a short tackler out there, and um, you know, I feel like that. Um, I, I was short tackle today, and I didn't really miss any tackles. But you know, we we got to have that for this defense. You know, and, and we can't we can't ever get content. You know, I feel like that we both are, and um, I, I'm loving the progress that we have going forward. How about some of the younger guys behind you, <coughs> the other safeties? Who's what are uh, those guys? Today, I was really impressed with uh, Micah Smith and Miles Mason. You know, jo Joe did some great things out there too. But you know, those two really stood out to me. You know, they had they both had uh, big hits today. And, um, you know, Michael forced a fumble as well, you know, and um, I'm really proud of him because he came a long way. And I know it's a lot of things that's on his mind all the time, but, you know, he, he persevered. And today, man, he had a great scrimmage. So, you know, those young guys, re they really come along, man. How's, how's Monteric doing? Monteric doing great. You know, they moved in the corner. You know, he's uh, transitioning the corner okay. now. Okay. Um, <laughs> <Thank> yeah, <you>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's news for y'all. But, yeah, they tra they moving the corner now. They're they trying to see him out there. And uh, he's picking them on that very well. You know, he can run. You know, he can hit. He's long, so you know he can he, he can really do have potential to, to uh, be great out there at corner. You know today he had a big hit as well, 
uh, on Corlin Jackson. So um, it just shows you that you know we've got a lot of versatile guys in the defensive backfield. What about Nickel with uh, K. Rich going down? Who stepped up in that position? Uh, we got three guys right now that's really battling out uh, with um, Damian McClure, uh, Nate Dawn, and uh, Derek Munson. You know those guys right now, man. The nickel spot. Um, Pluck did a great job today. You know uh, he's running around. You know Nate Nate's running around too as well. Uh, Monson as well, man. So um, right now you can't really say who just you know got the spot on lock. But you know I was really impressed with Davion McClure today as well, man. He, he, that guy he he's a, he's just a football player, man. And, you know he, he knows how to find the ball. Derek Munson seems like he's a really energetic guy. I think I saw him like do a cartwheel on the field the other day after a yeah. drill. We thoughts on him. Uh, Derek Monson is a very aggressive DB. Uh, he's going to hit you in your mouth, you know, and uh, that's what we love about him. You know, we sit him on pressure, he's going to get back there to the quarterback. He's very fearless. Um, he, he has a knack for finding the ball as well, you know, and, and I love his mentality, man. I feel like that he's going to play. Um, he has a great chance to play even after college football, you know, as long as he stay on course. And with Pulley on the other side of the field, it's probably going to give Shevin lots of opportunities to, to show off those ball skills. You're yes, sir. About. You think he's, he's prepared for that? Oh, yes, most definitely, man. Shevin has really been chipping away this fall camp. He's a guy that he – he's not a man of many words, but he, he comes every day and he's ready to work. You know, he, he spends um, extra time after practice, stuff like that, working on his craft, you know, getting in the film room. And, um, you know, those things don't go unnoticed. And it's showing on the field. You know, obviously he had his one-hand pick today. So, you know, Shevin really is coming along. He got to just make sure that he keep on chipping away, man. And never get content. You guys still using the boxing gloves or or uh, oven mitts or whatever those yeah. things are? <laughs> yeah, and um, in practice, uh, you know, we still use those. But like I said, that's obviously for us as DBs to learn how not to hold. You know, yeah. what I'm saying at, at top of routes and everything. So, you know, it, it really it really is beneficial. You know, and we not complaining about it, man. We just trying to get better.